at school. I know that you appreciate your schooling more than me, so it's okay. I know when, you know, I'm not loved. And, you know, I'm fine. I'll only cry a little bit. I will only cry for a good hour. Now, I don't think Invade is good. Bard Stun is strong. Alright. Yeah, guys, like, if you don't think something's a good idea, especially, like, invading a bard, which is a stupid idea, bard is almost as bad as Tarek on how strong his stun can be in winning a level 2. Especially since I know my wife is a bard main. Bard not only punishes invade, but he also has two damaging abilities right off the get-go. With Udyr, I got one, and, you know, attack speed. Why is she moving? Huh. Hmm. Ah, uh, well, I can't read it. This is it's his job. It's his it's his account, not my problem. I can't read it and I'm not gonna delve into it. People have some uh, interesting Twitch names. If you don't like a name, guys, and you understand it, you're welcome to report it. Yeah, um, the fact that Kaisa awarded it made it obvious that that's what she was going to try to do. But on the bright side, it did show me some critical information, which is that she's heading towards topside. So these... This bug should be a uh, mine. And what we want to do with this bug is we want to stand behind it so we walk it toward where we're going next. This, guys, gives us those precious seconds that we are going to be able to answer somewhere else. All right. He's dead. Wow. Wow. Hmm. 430. Oh shit, she's actually gonna chase me. Oh, dummy. Oof. All right. How's that for setting tempo, guys? Very cool. So, Jax burned his flash. At least we stole the scuttle from her, and now she is completely behind. So, now, guys, there's a reason why I'm not invading. Put it like this. You always have to, in League, you always have to do this cost analysis. Kind of, if I, what happens if I get caught? So, what can happen is by the time I get to the enemy jungle, I have no smite, so I'm going to do much slower on my clears, and the enemy team can collapse on me. If I die, I give I can either give a double buff if I'm killed early enough, or worse, I can give double buff to somebody who is already in a position to be strong, Jax and or Zed. Galio was, you know, kind of counterpicked, so yeah... We definitely don't want to make a bad situation worse. And guys, like th those are like the big things I notice a lot of people don't do. Is just doing those cost analysis. Like, see, Elise is going through my jungle. She's trying to find shit to do. I I can't. I can't. You tell her that, you know, I can't do what you want me to do. Elise is looking for farm. There's no farm to be found. Oh my god, this Yorick is fucking on point. That's- Oh, fuck! I, I moved too early. Oh my god, this Elise is so bad. Oh. Alright. Grab our items, grab this, grab that. And what we want to do now, take a look at the dragon. Like, if you haven't looked at the dragon by now, and I, I'll admit, guys, this meta does it a little sometimes too, so don't worry. You're not bad. Take a look at the first dragon and analyze, is it worth you to position down towards there? For me, yeah, it's Inferno. I told you guys, if possible, do this, do that damn thing at 12 minutes, five minutes sharp. 
you know, not exactly. Like, if you can't be on top of it, sure, but, you know, don't worry about it if you can't get around to it, you know? You don't want to hit the Blast Cone, guys. The main reason why is if you hit a Blast Cone, you are... Oh, hey. Uh, guys? Huh. I'll be honest, if I had Celerity and Water Walking, that was free. Alright, so we want to go ahead and grab this Scuttle. There's two reasons. If the Scuttle's on the map, then what ends up happening is Scuttle... Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry, important phone call. Sorry guys, someone called me from an emergency number. Yeah, Alex, call. And I thought it was important. So guys, kind of as you see there, had Botling completely fed at that moment, all died, then Elise and her Botling could rotate for the Infernal Drake. By taking the dragon off the map, I just, you know what, actually no. Guys, remember how I cleared my jungle earlier like this? Since I cleared it like this, my blue buff is about to spawn. I know my wolves are about to spawn too. One of the best things about efficient pathing is when you memorize how you clear the path, you get to do stuff like this. I clear my blue buff. There's my... Look, there's my wolves. And I pick them right on spawn. And then I continue just... Look, look. I just continue my nice, clean, structured rotation. And I'm going to keep my eyes on bot lane. The reason why is Elise is going to want to come down there. And I want to go to her blue buff. So we're going to do both. Yep, see, there she is. Elise shows bot side immediately since we're on the other side of the map we haven't back i don't kind of i really don't want to fight her if possible so what we're going to do instead is we're going to just punish her by taking her entire top side during this we're looking top side to see if we can make a dive uh even though Jax is a kind of a quirky dive and you know i kind of don't want to if i can get away with it you know what i mean let's just you know just kind of seeing we want to know our options gonna smite this and have him walk over to me Jax is TPing back topside, so we're going to ping Jax TP. And then we do her entire topside. So now we go ahead and pick up our red buff. And we're going to go ahead and pick up our red buff, the scuttle, and then Krugs. A very, very beautiful clear, guys. And again, guys, this is platinum players. Platinum, low diamond. If you're sitting there thinking, wow, I could, do, I could be doing this. The news flashes, my friend. Yes, you can. Huh, that was cute. Okay, I'll be honest, I didn't expect that play to work out like that, but hey, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain. We're going to stick around long enough, guys, to go ahead and get a Demolish proc, and then we're out. So what we're going to do here, like I said, always look for opportunities to punish the enemy jungler. Here we go. I already found one. Bam, Sam. Thank you, ma'am. We have literally just taken four camps from her. We stole the Scuttle without Smite, which is very impressive, if I might add. And hey, look, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do our Gromp while we're at it. I just saw the camp come up. I could have timed that better and I could have actually been walking towards that. Just, you know, little bits of efficiency. Damn, this game is just putting this Elise in the fucking dirt. I mean, all she's really accomplishing is just a lot of just little, a little specs. Uh, oh my god, you're gonna really need, I've really got a back row. Yeah, thanks. Better take that shit from me. Mm. Alright, we got our warrior enchant and our team app. So, again, guys, here's a perfectly cool thing. I know I took the in I took the blue buff at five minutes and I proceed to take all of her camps. So 
here's a great way, guys, to can maintain snowball potential. At 230, that's when her camps are going to start respawning. So I'm going to go ahead and grab red buff first, and then I'm going to go straight to her jungle instead of mines. And I'm just going to take all her camps again. Yep, see? The first one's up right now. So we're going to go ahead and go right back into our jungle. There we go. She's bot side, so we're just going to take all of them. Yeah, she, that's all she has to do. Like, literally, she is starved for CS because I keep on taking all of it from her. How so? I'll load that. Yeah, I want to run this top now. Yeah, we want to force this down now because uh, they're probably going to look to get that first blood tower bot lane. So I kind of want to just make sure that we get the first blood. Wait, what? What the hell? I thought we would have killed that tower by then. Huh. I'll be honest. I was like, okay, the, we're going to blow up the tower by now. And then she's like, it didn't happen. Whoops. That was really stupid of me. I miss. I thought my demolish damage would do a little bit more than that. I'm gonna not lie, the guys, a hundred percent on me right there. All right. So what we're gonna do here, guys, is we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're going to run straight to her blue buff, take it, and then continue snowballing it. Like, literally, we are, we have done nothing this game, guys, but continuously punish Elise's farm. Continuously taking her camps from her. Continuously just, you know, dicking her as much as humanly possible. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, guys, this isn't a power farming strategy at, by any stretch of the imagination. This is not meant to be a power farming strategy. This is a, I am literally living in your jungle, punishing it, taking all of your camps as often as they come up. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and see. Oh, there's. We don't wanna fight this. We don't wanna fight this impossible. Huh. That was stupid of you. Yeah, like. Alright. Now we just go and rotate and do the same thing again. Her cans came back up, so we're gonna go ahead and ping for help. We want Yorick to come and do that for us. There we go. She's dead now. Guess what that means, guys? All of her topside farm belongs to us. Oh, uh, we should probably fla ping her flash, by the way. Hey, Ruktapon. Uh, no. Never. Blood Razor is a bad item on Udyr. It scales terribly with his kit. Udyr's Tiger Stance needs physical damage to be successful. Anything else is literally just, no. Because here's the main problem, guys. If you... Oh, shoot. Oh, I ran out of places to run. Honestly, not bad. Both his summoners for that? Not bad. I could have played that better, guys, and probably walked out from my life, though. Yeah, Willie P wouldn't do it either because Blood Razor sucks. Your tiger stands, like, look, I have 
a warrior enchant, a Tiamat, and a Drum Fist. My Tiger Stance does over almost 600 damage for a proc. Why would I want to take away almost 120 damage? Right now, let's let's look at the Bard. Hold on. The Bard has 1k health. That means if I had Blood Razor, I'm doing 40 extra damage per auto attack. That's terrible. Terrible, by the way. Zed, 1.7. I'm doing maybe 50 damage. 50 to 60 damage more. That is a little over 60 damage per auto attack. Again, Warrior Enchant out does, out does that before you take in the Tiger Scaling. In higher, in any elo, Udyr's weakness is he can't stay on top of targets. You know, you get kited. This is what, this is what Warrior Enchant lets you do. Okay. Hi. Hi. There's Warrior Enchant. I bursted her before she could even do anything else. Rook to Pond with the tier one sub. Thank you so, 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 so much for the support, my friend. Oh, shit. Hold on. This at least is starting to piss me off. The fact she does this every fucking time. Yeah, you don't do that with Blood Razor. Holy shit, guys. That is a fucking nice play. There you go. You want a perfect example of why you don't go Blood Razor? That's why. Blood Razor doesn't let you do that. That is beautiful. There you go, buddy. You want an explanation of why you don't go War Blood Razor? There you go. <laughs> Literally, right on, on the dot. You're gonna, you're gonna brag a little, guys. That was just beautiful. Just gonna sugarcoat myself. Hey, hey, you guys are crying how beautiful that was. You know what could help meta? Clipping it. Make sure you clip that play. Make sure to clip it with some quality editing so, you know, the clip isn't like five hours long. I know. I trust. Hey, look. More camps. Let's keep on taking them. Elise, what happened the last time you tried this? <laughs> you think she'd have learned, boys. You think she would have learned. My jungle. This is my jungle. I don't I haven't given you the right to farm it yet. Ooh, thank you, soul, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, guys. Best option here, go. let's go topside farm. Not Krugs, topside farm. Push towers. By the way, guys, she's still level 9. I have been punishing her this whole entire game. I have been constantly putting her topside jungle in rotations. She has been denied so much CS. Look, I literally have over 100. Over 100 indifference. Hey, Al, it is going beautifully, my friend. Like I said, guys, since I didn't go power farming my jungle and I'm forcing an objective, my teammates are literally dealing with, like, the way, way weak Elise. And I, in the meantime, am pushing. Al5565 with the tier 1 sub. Welcome as a teacher to the flowing sun. And I hope both of you guys are enjoying the most quality emote on Twitch. The Meta Soul Rage, hand drawn by my beautiful, beautiful wife. Oh, you suck so much. Actually, no, I think he killed him. Nope, nope. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There we go. Oh, oh, wait, my team's dead. <laughs> I'll be honest. Oh, wait, my team's dead. I didn't even notice. Whoops. Uh, yeah, physical damage is my only concern, but even then it's not much. Let's just sell this, grab both these components, and call it a day. Damn. <laughs> no, I just, I'll be legit honest, I have no idea.
That's that's just painful. Look at that, guys. Bard has half her CS. Bard has half her CS. <laughs> that's a farming role. That's just so painful. I don't think she's going to ever forget this day. She's perma ban. She's you know, this Elise is perma banning Udyr after this day. She is like, I am never gonna go this matchup ever again. This is never gonna happen again. Poor girl's gonna be reeling from this one. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and force them out, the Baron. Just as a safety precaution, guys. We don't need it, but you know, it's it's, it's fine. Uh, nothing. I just, I've just learned how to play without the CDR, guys. Udyr doesn't need CDR. It's a luxury on him. Like, in most of my builds, guys, you'll notice, I don't have CDR in my build. Does it feel nice? Yeah, it does. Quality smite, baby. Wait. Is... No, she doesn't. <laughs> I want Grandmaster. First time Diamond, I want Grandmaster. I want Grandmaster, guys. <laughs> Poor Lee's man. Poverty mode. Literally. <laughs> Poverty mode. <laughs> um. Yeah. I, I, I just, I've just learned how to play about it. Like, I don't, I don't build movement speed. I don't build, uh, oh, wow. Wait, where did the lease go? Damn. Tayo, baby. Tayo. All, all, all's well that ends well. Let's give it to this guy. He was real. This Galio, fucking amazing. He absolutely rotated everywhere. He absolutely rotated everywhere. And it was just fuck. This 